course, in each and every paper, you need uh, citations, like bibliography, references. Uh, I will now add a reference for um, the data in this table. I first go to keys in references. I will just paste some well-formatted um, citation for a journal, a journal article. And now I go to the place where I want to insert citation. I add a hard space and then I click here insert citation. And I have this key, key one, it's Rabinovitz. Um, available here, I click add, okay, mm. and this uh, reference was correctly added. But of course it's convenient to have uh, references, uh, these reference labels, these keys, uh, to have a meaningful uh, value. So I click on it, I can change key, for example, to Rabinovit. Uh, one nine eighty, for example, like this. And now, if I, if I want to refer to it, I will see that it's in a in a useful, user-friendly format. So again, add. Okay. Uh, sometimes I may want to. Uh, have many references, then I just click enter. Uh, I choose another key, let's say book X, right? It's automatically uh, generated index. Uh, well, now I'll just insert some dummy value here, mm, but the idea is simple. I'll add reference to, and now I'm going to add two references for the same um, same uh, citation, and uh, as you can see, um, they will both appear here. As you can see, the references are in uh, in proper order. So we have first uh, reference number two, then reference number one. So we'll change it. Uh, we'll move book X down, and now the order is proper. Right. Uh, let's see how our PDF look. And well, here it is. Mm, we have a reference to uh, insert correctly. And then something happened to our statistic reference. So when we see here, we changed key uh, of the bibliography and now mm, this key is missing. So uh, it's always good to mm, change the key first before inserting references. Now again, mm, if, we, if we see a preview, uh, everything should be fine so let's see yeah we have one here and other references correctly inserted here